Hello friends, and welcome to today's episode. In 2017, Christina Kokonis Vickers chose to try out the karaoke machine at Sam's Club in Ulster, New York. This turned what had been a normal trip to the store into a moment to remember. She and her friend Amanda Lasher were walking through the warehouse store when they came across the sing-along gadget. Kokonis Vickers had the urge to start singing right away, and when she did, she surprised everyone. Millions of people saw her show and were blown away by how good she was. This video is worth watching for anyone who enjoys seeing how talented regular people can be. Lasher didn't feel embarrassed by what was going on, so she used her phone to record Coninus Vigors singing. It was a great show, so it was good that she did. We can all imagine how some of us would feel if we were in either of their places. Many of us would feel embarrassed, especially since Sam's Club isn't exactly where you'd expect to find someone singing their heart out. But Coconus Vigors just went for it. Coconus Vigors told ABC 13 that when they got to the Christmas section, they saw the singing machine. Both women were in for an exciting Friday night. Coconus Vigors said in the video, The people want to hear it, the people want to hear it, before picking up the microphone and singing, maybe this time, for the first time. Coninus Vigors had hooked up the machine to her phone and started singing Maybe This Time from the famous 1966 show Cabaret, which was written by John Kander. With just a few notes, she captivated the other shoppers who stood and listened in awe to her amazing show. People want to hear it, the people want to hear it. Maybe this time, for the first time, maybe this time you'll stay. Sam's Club Karaoke. Maybe this time, I'll be lucky. Love on the Everybody, they love a winner, so nobody loves me. Lady peaceful, lady happy, that's what I long to be. Coninus Vigors told ABC7 New York, there were people who came by and just stood there the whole time. She sang the song with all of her natural ability, and it sounded great. When ABC7 New York asked Lasher about Coconus Vigors' act, he said that everyone was blown away by it. And we're not surprised because Coninus Vigors not only has a great singing voice with a wide range, but she also sang at Sam's Club with a lot of energy. In this way, she is not shy at all. Instead, she smiled almost the whole time she was singing and didn't seem to care that she was in a public place with strangers. 
Even those of us who get nervous on stage could learn something from Conanus Vigor's bravery. After that, she got a lot of praise. That was incredible, Lasher said. The performance was so good that ABC7 said Conanus Vigor's got calls from talent scouts, including people from America's Got Talent. So far as we know, she hasn't been on the show yet, but you never know. Maybe she'll be on for a season in a few years. We'll have to wait and see what happens. ABC7 reported in 2017 that Conanus Vigors said she plans to stay in her hometown and work with the nonprofit theater company Upstate Productions. Everyone was shocked that someone in a bulk shop could have such a beautiful voice. But like most of the stories on a post, this one shows that life is full of fun and touching shocks. You never know what will happen during the day. It could be a chance flash mob or a woman singing karaoke while you buy roasted peanuts in bulk at Sam's Club. Lasher put the video of Coke Conus Vigors singing on her Facebook page after she went to the store. She had a strong feeling that it would be seen by a lot of people. But Conanus Vigors did not believe that this would happen like Lasher did. She told me, I'll post it on Facebook. This is going to get out of hand. And I said no, Conanus Vigors said. But Lasher was right. Within a few hours of her uploading the video, it started getting a lot of views. After only a few hours, 8 million people had watched it, and that number has grown to over 14 million today. People love to hear Conanus Vigors sing and can't wait to hear what she will sing next. Luckily, Conanus Vigors now has a YouTube feed and a Facebook page called Diva in the Making where she keeps fans up to date and posts videos of her singing. Some recent videos include a version of Come Little Children from Disney's Hocus Pocus, You're the One That I Want from Greece, and the famous 1965 song What the World Needs Now. Coconus Vigors has used her page to show off her skills and talk about important things in her life. In December 2020, she told everyone about a big change in her life. She had been accepted into Berklee College of Music's online songwriting and music production degree program. It was clear that Coconus Vigors was happy and excited about getting into the Berklee College of Music, and she does deserve it. It is always so inspiring to see someone who seems ordinary show their extraordinary side. Most of the time, only the people we love know about our abilities, but with the internet's wide reach, anyone can become a star and go after their dreams. Coconus Vigors became well known after her movie went viral, and she shows us that it's never too late to follow our dreams. ABC7 said that Coconus Vigors was born and raised in the Staten Island neighborhood of Dongan Hills. It looks like she could go far if she keeps using her skills. When we hear stories like Coninus Vigors, we're always so curious about where these bright people will go next. Will Coconus Vigors put out her own music at some point? Will she be on a show like America's Got Talent? Or will her recent fame not change anything about her life? She seems to be sticking to social media and YouTube for now, but we can't wait to see what this bright young woman does next, especially now that she's about to get her college degree. We hope the best for her in the future. That's it for today, friends. Please let us know what you think about this story. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon for more amazing stories.